My name is Jeff Holt. I'm a professor of otolaryngology and neurology at Boston Children's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. I run a research lab focused on the genetics and physiology of the inner ear. I became enamored with the sense of hearing, and in particular, the sensory cells of the inner ear. I think they're the most beautiful cells in the body. They're perplexingly complex and elegantly simple. For my job, I've largely chosen to focus on the genes and proteins of the inner ear, in particular those that convert sound information into electrical signals. I want to understand why genetic mutations cause dysfunction in the inner ear, and ultimately, I hope to use this information to generate treatments to restore auditory function for patients with genetic hearing loss. We discovered the function of a protein known as TMC1. TMC1 is a key molecule that converts sound information into electrical signals. TMC1 carries many mutations in it that lead to auditory dysfunction. There's at least 40 that have been identified, and we think that we can now use the information that we've discovered about TMC1 to generate gene therapy approaches to treat auditory dysfunction. I'm fortunate to be able to work with an incredible team of scientists that includes both students, postdocs, and lab technicians. But perhaps most importantly, I have a long-term collaborator, Gwenelle Jeliak, who is also my spouse. She's an incredible scientist in her own right, and I'm fortunate to have her as part of my team. I love the thrill of scientific discovery. Over the long term, I hope that some of our discoveries will help inform the design of novel therapies to treat patients with genetic hearing loss. These are incredibly exciting times for the field of auditory research, not just in my lab, but more broadly in the field. One that we're particularly excited about is known as base editing, where we think we can repair a single mutation, correct that mutation, and provide a cure that may last a lifetime. I think the next important step is gonna to be to translate these to the clinic and bring them to patients so that we can restore auditory function. At home, around the dinner table, my kids will tell you that Gwen and I talk too much about science, but you can be sure if you ask them, what is the hair cell transduction channel, you'll get the right answer, TMC1. I have several hobbies, but some of the ones that I'm most passionate about are sailing, which I love to do with family and friends. But also, I'm passionate about kite surfing. I've taken up the sport recently, and it's a wonderful escape from the lab. It's both thrilling, exciting, and great to be on the water when it's windy. I'm very grateful for the recognition from the FPA, and I think that we can use this now as an opportunity to share not just the work from my lab, but from the broader auditory community. Merci beaucoup et à l'écoute de la vie. <laughs>